Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going over the World of Warcraft add-on called Pitbull 4. Um, I really very much like this. I've recently started using it. I've used a lot of other uh, unit frames add-ons and this is a very good one. And even if you've used older versions of Pitbull, there are some really significant changes in Pitbull 4. Um, so I'm only going to be going over, I think, what are probably some of the more important features as well as kind of how I set up my raid frames, which really only scratches the surface of the customizability of this. It's almost limitless in how well it can be customized to suit your needs. So the command is forward slash pitbull, or there is a minimap icon as well. It is currently unlocked on the frame movement. To lock your frames, you just check that unlock. And now I'm going to unlock again. Okay, and I can actually move this, and I will. One thing I'll just show you right off the bat is if you go into Indicators, Portrait, Enable, that puts your portrait up on the side of your bar. Now you can move this to the right side, you can scale it across the top, you can make it full body, and you can um, uh, make it two-dimensional if you like, whatever you want to do, but that's how to get your portrait. I like mine minimal, so I don't use any portraits at all. Okay, now I'm in Layout Editor, and my current layout is normal. Now, anything I do while in here is going to affect all the bars, whether I can see them or not. They're all going to be affected um, until such time as I change my layout. And I'm going to get into that later because that is probably the most uh, crucial feature to Pitbull 4 and understanding how it works, and it's also what makes it great. I'm going to change to Config Mode Solo. That's going to show me all the possibilities of what can happen when I'm soloing. So it's going to put up all of the uh, frames that I may need while soloing. So there's my target frame. I'm going to throw that there. Uh, focus. Player's pet. Uh, focus is target. Targets, targets, target. Focus is targets, target. <laughs> there's a lot of them. Targets, target. I am going to throw that over here. Uh, pets, target. We'll go right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of first off the bars I don't use. Now, if I go into Units, I can then select, and I'm going to select these ones that I'm not using. Focus is Target, and I'm going to just uncheck Enable. That one and this one. Okay, now I want to clean up my bars. Pitbull allows for, you know, showing experience, showing cast times, all that on the main bars. I have other add-ons that do that, and I don't really want them on my bars right now. So I'm going to go back into my layout editor. I'm going to go into bars, okay, and now I can get rid of bars that I'm not going to use. Experience bar, just by unchecking enable. Uh, reputation bar, <clears throat> threat bar. Now I've got something cleaned up. If you're used to looking at a green health bar, uh, you can do that in here, but it defaults to class colors. Uh, Priest is a grayish white, so that's why my bar is grayish white on the health bar. You can also change the sizes of the bars. I could make the mana bar smaller and the health bar bigger, or what have you. There's a lot of internal customization that I'm not going to show in this video, but it is available. Okay, um, now, if you want to change the size of an individual bar or certain details, like I can go into my target's target, for instance, and I can just shrink the scale, and now that's small, which is good. I do like those small. Okay, and I can do that for whatever bars I want individually. I can also change the text, so if it's just now way too small to read, I can fix the text in there. All right, <clears throat> so that's my basic sort of layout on when I'm soloing. Now I'm going to go into Party. So Config Mode Party. It's going to bring up Party Bars. Party Pets I'm going to throw under My Pet. And Party. Now for Party, I don't like all this information, and I like it small. I like a grid-style thing, and I'm a healer, so all I really need to know is the health. So now I need to change the layout in my layout editor, but I don't want to change for everything I've already set up. So this is where I'm going to create a new layout. I'm actually going to call this Raid, because it's going to be the same layout whether I'm in a raid or a party or what have you. Okay? Click OK, and now I'm in Raid. Now I can go in and assign groups to my raid. And so right now, the group that I'm in is Party. And I actually only have Party and Party Pets. We're going to change that later. And I'm going to assign it to the Layout Raid. And now everything I do in Layout Editor is only going to affect the groups that are assigned to Raid. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to I'm going to go into bars. I'm going to change my health bar because I don't want it anymore. Now I can go to indicators and I can change a lot of these indicators. So for instance, I don't need the combat enabled, combo points I don't need enabled, uh, leader icon, I, I probably need that, but I'm going to turn it off anyway, master looter. Okay, so I can turn a lot of those off. Um, now, if I go into text, see where it says Lua PVP timer, it's going to show me a PVP timer. I don't want that either, and that's in text. So if I change from current text, go to Lua PVP timer, I'm going to disable that, and that gets rid of that. Now I want to shrink. So I'm going to go to general, and I'm going to shrink the width and the height. And now you'll notice that I have a colossal mess because I haven't done anything yet with my uh, buffs and debuffs. That's in aura, and I'm just going to uncheck them. Debuffs. Okay, now there's a couple things that I still need to do. Notice I'm not a part of this party. I do want to be a part of this party. Okay, so I'm going to go back to... Well, actually, let me do a couple of other things first. First off, the health, it's going to show up super big because it's going to look like what it looks like on my player. So it's going to show uh, potential health, what I have left, and this 100%. I want to change that. So if you go into text and I select uh, Lua Health, and then I go to Code and see where it says Absolute and Percent? That's what it looks like here on Jornash. And I don't want that. Let's just say I just want Percent then I change it. So now it's just going to show percent, and I'm going to show you how that looks in a little bit. Okay, so now the other thing that I want to do is I want to go to groups. I like myself to be in my party, so just in the general tab under groups, include player, and there I am. Okay, now see all this space here? I don't want that. I go to unit formation, vertical spacing, none, Horizontal spacing, none. Units per column, I want to be five. So I hit five, enter, and there we go. All right, filtering. What that tells me is when is this going to show up? I want this to show up when I'm in a five-man, a party, and also solo. I want it for all three of those, okay? So now, if I go back to solo, now you'll notice that it's still there because I, I told it to be. You'll also notice that for health it's just showing 100% and that'll drop as, as I take damage. Okay, And that's how all of that works. Now I want to set up raids. Okay, So I'm going to do a new group. I'm going to call it raid. Okay. Now I'm in my raid. I don't want it for 5 solo party. I want it for 10. I want it for 15, I want it for 20, and I want it for 25. Those are all going to be set up the same for me. So that's what I want this new raid. Actually, you know what? I don't want it raid. Let me remove that because that's going to get confusing. What I want is I want it to be 25, man. Okay, and so my 25 man is going to be the same setup whether I'm in 10 man, 15, 20, or 25. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Layout Editor. Um, I am going to, actually, I didn't even need to do that. I'm just going to change the config mode to 5 man raid, or sorry, 10 man raid. All right, and then I'm going to go back into Groups, General, see where it says Unit Group Party. To do configuration, I need to change that to RAID. I need to change it to RAID anyway. And what that does is allows for the extra columns. Okay? So now you'll see the extra columns. I'm in a 10-man. If I'm in a 25-man, that's what this looks like. And now in a 40-man, that's going to be way too wide. So what I'd rather do is, is bring it down. So I'm going to make a new group. I'm going to call it 40-man. Okay, and now I'm in 40 man, and when I go to filtering, I'm going to remove all these. I'm going to make it 40 man, and then I'm going to change the unit formation on it to 8 units per column. Okay, and then when I go in my config mode and go to 40 man, now you'll notice 8 units per column, and it's still just as wide, and so I have everything set up for when I'm in solo, when I'm in party, when I'm in 5-man, 10-man, 20-man, or 40-man. 
I guess it'd be 25 man normally. Uh, if I disable, you can see kind of the look of everything the way it actually is. If I target myself, that's the way it's going to look when I have a target and when I have a target's target. Okay, and that's the basic setup. Uh, it's very customizable. Again, I've shown you very little of the actual functionality, but, but you get an idea of how it works and how customizable it is and how you can make it do whatever you want. Um, so we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.